There are a number of questions that you should be asking if you have a mesothelioma case, uh, and not to be shy about asking them, because I can tell you that we're very happy to answer all your questions before you make a decision about the lawyer you want to choose. One of the very important questions is, how long has the firm been doing mesothelioma cases? What's their experience with it? How long have they been doing it? How many lawyers are they working on my case with me? Uh, another very important question is, how many trials has this firm had? Are you going to take my case to trial? Or are you going to just try to settle me out for some lower amount? And those are essential questions to ask because you've got to know that the lawyer that you choose is going to be there with you from the very beginning to the very end. You know, Bob, you're absolutely right, but it's not only the clients that ask those questions. Because when we walk into a courtroom, it's our adversaries and it's the court that asks exactly those same questions. How long have you been doing this for? Who's behind you? How reliable is your firm? And one of the things that we're proud of in Levy Phillips and Konigsberg with the generations of experience that we bring to the table is that when we face an adversary, when we go into a court, we know that there's going to be an expectation on the other side that we're ready to take the case all the way. And those questions are always answered positively. You know, most one of the things that we take pride in is to try cases against not only tough companies like the talc companies, but companies who take the position, we're not going to pay you anything. We'd rather fight than pay a penny. And I'll tell you something, a lot of law firms just don't bother trying cases against them because they're going to have to spend a lot of time and effort to get money from them. And one of the things I've taken great pride in is a case that we had uh, representing an individual who worked with a gasket and a, and a cable. And both companies said our nationwide position is we won't pay in those cases, we'll try them. And rather than back down, we tried that case uh, uh, on behalf of that individual and we got the first ever cable verdict against any cable manufacturer in the United States and we also got a tremendous verdict against the gasket manufacturer. So we are very happy to take on a case and matter of fact let a defendant say you know we don't want to pay you make our day we're happy to try those cases. Jerry I know you had a similar situation. Yes I did Bob and those cases were against the welding rod industry. Uh, the welding rod industry is another very powerful industry and we had two clients come to us one with mesothelioma and the other with lung cancer. Uh, both men were diagnosed with these diseases while they were in their 50s uh, with children. And both men uh, shared a common exposure to welding rods that contained asbestos on the outer coating. Uh, we did some research on this and we found that the welding rod industry litigated these cases very hard and had never lost a case of this type before. Uh, but what we did was we consulted the leading experts in the field on this issue. Uh, we found experts who had actually done tests on welding rods and determined that when welding rods are rubbed together, when they're abraded, when they're handled in the workplace, they do release asbestos fibers. And we put on our case in front of a jury, and we won the case in front of a jury and got our clients the compensation they deserve. They were the first families ever to be paid by the welding rod industry in asbestos cases. And I'm very proud of that, and I'm proud that our firm was willing to take on a tough case like that.